Thank you. Well, it's, uh, it's always wonderful to see everybody gathered here this evening. And we have a very exciting evening ahead. We have good food, good wine, and good company. But most of all, tonight is about celebrating the very best journalism in Asia. The SOPA Awards have, for more than 20 years, set a benchmark for editorial excellence in the region. This year, we received more than 800 entries in 17 categories. The standards are high, competition is fierce, and I know the, uh, the finalists here may be feeling a little anxious at this time, but you can all feel proud of yourselves. This event is a year in the making, and it would not be possible without the hard work of many people. So some thank yous. I'd like to thank our platinum sponsors, Google News Initiative and Facebook Journalism Project for their continuing support, and our silver sponsor, ZA International, for joining us this year. Thank you to the SOPA board, chaired by Rhonda Taylor, for their commitment throughout the year, and also, of course, to my fellow members on the editorial committee uh, for their dedication. Thank you. At the heart of these awards are the judges. There are 80 of them this year around the world. Many are here tonight. They give up their valuable time to read and assess all the entries. Thank you to them. <clears throat> JMSC, Journalism School at the University of Hong Kong, has been an excellent awards administrator once again this year. Head judge Jeff Timmermans, Kevin Lau and Cal Wong have worked tirelessly to ensure the judging process is smooth, efficient and fair. A very big thank you is also due to SOPA's marketing director, Christine Wong, for her amazing drive and efficiency, without which, <laughs> well deserved, without which these awards simply would not happen. And sorry, Christine, about all the emails I missed. <laughs> Thanks, too, to Peggy Wong from the SOPA Secretariat for her hard work. Please give all of those that made this evening possible a big round of applause. <clears throat> now, this year, as you know, has been a challenging one for our profession. Among our finalists tonight are two Reuters journalists, Hua Lone and Cho So Wu, who spent more than 500 days behind bars in Myanmar for just doing their job. I'm delighted that they have now been released. They should never have been jailed. Last year, at these awards, we were entertained by our guest speaker, Maria Ressa, CEO of the news website Rappler in the Philippines. She spoke passionately about the appalling attacks she and her team have been subjected to online in response to their coverage of the Duterte administration. Sadly, Maria has since been arrested on various spurious charges as attempts to silence her and Rappler continue. We wish her well. And in Hong Kong, Victor Mallet, highly respected journalist from the Financial Times, the guy that used to sign off on the FT's entries to these awards was expelled from the city last year for hosting a luncheon talk. SOPA was founded to champion press freedom. It has, throughout the year, issued statements of concern about curbs on press freedom in the region such as these. Good journalism has never been more important. I'd like to borrow a line from Maria Ressa, who was speaking in Hong Kong recently. She said, even though it is difficult to work as a journalist now, there is no better time to be a journalist, because what we do matters. Your reporting matters now more than ever. We need to hold the line and show the best of human nature. That is her hope for the future, and one I'm sure we all share. Now, 
we move on to another topic of great importance. We have a distinguished panel to discuss the latest developments relating to the Me Too movement. Two years on, what has its impact been? How has it played out in different parts of the world? And are fears of a backlash warranted? It gives me great pleasure to welcome to the stage our panelists and our moderator, Jody Schneider, Senior International Editor at Bloomberg News and co-lead for the Bloomberg Women's Community in Hong Kong. Uh, congratulations are due to Jody uh, on her recent election as President of the Foreign Correspondents Club. Jody, please, over to you. Thank you very much.